the conveners of the IST Africa 2022 conference, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ernest Obizulu. I'm a medical doctor and registrar in the Department of Radiology at the University Teaching Hospitals in Lusaka, Zambia. I'm going to present to you our work entitled Enterprise Medical Imaging in the Global South, Challenges and Opportunities. This work was prepared by myself and Dr. Lighton Peary from the Department of Library and Information Science at the University of Zambia. Ladies and gentlemen, Radiology is a medical specialty that involves the use of clinical imaging for the diagnosis and treatment of clinical conditions. In a hospital setup, the Department of Radiology plays a pivotal role across all the generic disciplines of medicine, including pediatrics, internal medicine, surgery, and obstetrics and gynecology. Typically in a hospital setup, the Department of Radiology will register patients that are referred after having been seen by physicians. When the patients present to the department, they are registered and are imaged in various imaging modalities depending on the patient needs and the captured images are stored in a server. A radiologist then accesses the images, analyzes them, interprets the findings, and prepares a detailed report, which is then fed back to the referring physician so that the radiological diagnosis can influence the management of the patient. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a basic skeleton of how a radiology department operates in a hospital in the modern era. Two fundamental challenges, however, affect the effectiveness and efficiency of the radiological services in the global south. And these include a critical shortage of radiologists and the limited use of modern medical imaging practices. Our work focused on the potential solution to address the challenge of the limited use of modern medical imaging practices through the implementation of enterprise imaging. Enterprise imaging is a concept that includes techniques and workflows for acquiring, indexing, managing, storing, and analyzing clinical images. We had two objectives for our study to highlight the challenges that adversely affect effective interpretation of medical images and to explore the opportunities that are associated with the implementation and adoption of enterprise imaging strategies in order to enhance medical imaging interpretation in Zambia and the global south at large. We used a mixed method approach where we took a case study at the university teaching hospitals and the meta-analysis. Specifically, we use the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats SWOT analysis through records analysis and personal observations. The meta-analysis that was conducted was based on enterprise medical imaging. We found out that there are 2,815 health facilities in Zambia owned by the government, the defense forces, non-government organizations and the private sector, but our work focused on the public health facilities in Zambia. Out of the 2,815 facilities, 151 are classified as hospitals under level 1, level 2 or level 3, and the majority of the hospitals are owned by the government and run through the Ministry of Health. It is worth noting that are of all these facilities that are available in the country, as of the year 2020, only nine qualified radiologists practiced in the public sector in Zambia, operating in only five facilities across only three provinces out of 10 in the country. Our case study at the University Teaching Hospitals 
reviewed the following for, uh, workflow challenges. That there's no radiology information system or hospital information system. As a result, request forms for imaging examinations are inadequately prepared. There is repetitive entry of patient details at every step of the process. Final reports remain uncollected in the department and therefore are not feeding back to the requesting physicians to influence the management of the patients. And the preparation of annual returns in the department tends to be tedious because um, the process is manual. Secondly, there's no picture archiving and communication system. As a result, there's no systematic storage of images and reports. The reporting of the uh, cases is done manually and therefore long. There is multiple registration of the same patient in the department as many times as the patient returns to the department for imaging examinations. And there's long report turnaround times. Ladies and gentlemen, time is of prime importance in the diagnosis of any health condition. The long report turnaround times at the university teaching hospital is twofold. Firstly, there are very few radiologists practicing at the hospitals, specifically only two qualified uh, radiologists that are working against a heavy workload. In our review, we noted that, for example, in 2019, the annual returns revealed that there was a total of 92,600 imaging examinations that were conducted against only two radiologists that are available. We also noted that the majority of the modalities that are used in imaging are x-rays and ultrasound. This information agrees with what is available in literature across the world that x-rays are the most commonly performed radiological examinations. Our meta-analysis generally revealed that there's one problem to do with the implementation of enterprise medical imaging, and that is the problem to do with the integration of various clinical imaging disciplines into a unified enterprise imaging strategy. And all this is due to the differences in the workflows for the different clinical imaging departments, differences in the image qualities and the standards that are used in imaging, problems to do with the lack of specific uh, ontology and standard nomenclature, as well as medical legal and personal private concerns to do with imaging. Ladies and gentlemen, Additionally, the Global South faces other challenges in the implementation of enterprise medical imaging. And these are a substantial cost that is involved to procure the platforms, as well as the ongoing requirement for continued investment to maintain the platforms. Secondly, there's also a requirement for a good information and communication technology service support, which is lacking in most of the Global South countries, and also the need for training of users and requirement for a good understanding of the complexities that are involved in enterprise imaging implementation. Our SWOT analysis at the University of Hospitals revealed the following. Strengths, we noted that Radiologists that are practicing are well-trained from reputable institutions. We also noted that there is already an organized existing uh, departmental um, stakeholders that are involved in clinical imaging. These various departments are already uh, having their own ad administrators who are well-established. They already operate on standard operating procedures. And although mainly manual, they have workflows in place, which could be incorporated in an AI-centric ecosystem. They also have uh, fairly equipped imaging ecosystems at all levels, operating with machines that are already compatible with the DICOM format, which is a requirement for enterprise imaging. And lastly, we also noted 
that um, there is already an ongoing mobilization of teleradiology equipment in order to link the various parts of the country to facilitate image uh, sharing and reports transfer. Witnesses, we noted that currently the different, different uh, departments that encompass some form of clinical imaging are still operating independently and not integrated into the mainstream uh, radiological imaging. We noted that there is continued use of old analog imaging systems that are not uh, compatible with the DICOM format. We noted that there are variations in terms of the type of images that are acquired, including images that are acquired using light capturing uh, devices. We also noted that there is um, poor equipment servicing which leads to frequent and prolonged downtimes. And lastly, we also noted that there is lack of good uh, ICT infrastructure across the country. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we noted the following opportunities uh, uh, that could be taken advantages of in the implementation of enterprise uh, medical imaging at the University Teaching Hospitals. Firstly, there's already an ongoing development of an electronic health record system called Smart Care, which is currently being rolled out in the country. And there's also already an e-government service where the government is providing internet connectivity to various government departments and facilities. Threats. The following threats were noted that even though internet connectivity is being facilitated in the different government departments and facilities, the internet connectivity is unreliable. And secondly, we also noted under the threats that there is still uncertainty over acceptability of integration of the various imaging uh, departments into a unified enterprise imaging uh, strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, with what I have presented, I would like to conclude by um, informing the participants that I presented to you a SWOT analysis that was conducted at the University Teaching Hospitals, which highlighted the challenges and opportunities of implementing a successful enterprise imaging strategy. We also presented to you a meta-analysis that was conducted to consolidate information on general and local challenges of enterprise imaging inter implement implementation at the university teaching hospitals and the global south at large. I would like to mention that we are currently undertaking a pilot study to fully understand the imaging workflows that are employed in the public health facilities in Zambia. The expected outcome of this work is the possible automation of some of the workflows in order to enhance the efficiency of imaging in the country. We also have already in the pipeline plans of implementation of parks and risk systems, as well as development of machine learning models to aid radiologists who are very few in the interpretation of medical images. We also realize and note that there's still need for research, especially in the area to explore the possible automation of uh, radiology report generation. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, those few words, I would like to end this presentation of enterprise medical imaging in the global south, challenges and opportunities. I thank you. <music>